What is going on guys? 99 Silverado, new body style here. It's kind of weird to say. I know you guys can't see anything right now, but be patient. That's all part of the video. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to get the pleasantries out of the way and tell you, um, first of all, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? You're doing it wrong. Um, there's a link on screen as well as in the description. And if you are following me on Instagram, you probably already know what I'm going to show you. So uh, you guys get a sneak peek on Instagram of what I'm doing. I've been posting like a picture every day of my progress. So, here we are. Um, been working on the LED swap. Uh, I guess I'll get in the truck so you don't have to hear that dinging. <laughs> um, so there we go. Uh, been working on the LED swap. Uh, it's probably about 80% complete, I would say. Oh, there's the passenger side controls. The HVAC panel. As you can see, I have one out right there. Uh, the AC button, but uh, I'm not really surprised based upon what I had to do, so I can fix that no problem. And I still have to do the uh, temperature dials. You can see this one here kind of over bleeding. I'll zoom out right here quick. Um, so that one's out. And I still have to get some blue LEDs for this side and uh, have to do the red. So I'm um, still working on that. Um, turn this on for a second so you can see the radio matches with it, which I really like. If it'll turn on. I don't know if I turned it far enough that time. Oh, there it goes. It seems to have no sign of life. There it goes. But uh, I like that a lot. If you guys haven't been able to tell, red's about my favorite color probably. Here's the uh, the dash. I think you guys have seen that already. And the steering wheel controls. Kind of moving around so you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, but steering wheel controls. Here's the uh, control center over here. And uh, this little overbleed right here, I broke the case on the uh, cargo light switch. So that's what you're seeing that light from. But uh, once the dash panel's on, you won't even know. So, um, the driver's side controls. And, uh, yeah. I still have to do the uh, window, the rear window switches. Uh, both of those and probably this. Uh, even though it never gets used, but I think it would look nicer. Than that stupid doll white. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're getting there, guys. Um, we're getting there. So that's uh, just a quick little update I had to show you. And um, turn that off. We're getting there. Um, next thing that I'm going to be doing is I have ordered a sub. Um, also, I'm going to need some new batteries probably pretty soon. It's December, f like, third now maybe i don't know what the date is today but it's december now it's getting pretty cold in michigan here so and these batteries are getting a little slow they're only like two years old though so i i don't know what's going on with that i don't know if they're just junk batteries or decas which i don't i've never heard of them before i worked at my job we use deca batteries on all our equipment so um i i don't know if they're good or bad but um i didn't even know they made car batteries until i bought this truck I guess, what, what does that tell you? Um, but I'll probably get some new batteries. I have a sub coming, a sub and an amp and a box. Um, there'll be a video on that, so don't worry about that. You guys will see that in a separate video. Um, possibly get an exhaust tip. Uh, I'm still thinking about that. Look at it, it's starting to surface rust now. Uh, which is, it probably will just come right off with some like WD-40 or you know some kind of penetrating. It'll probably wipe right off, it's just surface. And it didn't get it wasn't like that until I left uh, wet grass or dirt on it overnight, or not even overnight, like for a couple of hours. And I, I went to wash the truck. I was like, "What the hell? Like that thing's been clean for six. That thing's been clean for almost a year, and all of a sudden I leave it on there, and then it had little rust spots on it. But it, like I said, it'll probably come right off because it's supposedly stainless steel. Um, I think you guys have seen the LBZ Nation decal. If you haven't, they're an Instagram page, so check them out. Uh, all they do is post LBZs on their uh, Instagram, so I think that's kind of cool. I like the name, so yeah. That's where we're at, guys. Worked on the LED swap. Um, I ordered a 10-inch kicker dual voice coil shallow mount sub, a 10-inch box, and a kicker 400 watt R 400 RMS watt amp, 400 watt M RMS, yeah, amp. So um. Yeah, so I think it's like peak 800 and 400 RMS. I think it's like half, right? And that's what the sub uh, needed is 400 RMS. I like my stuff matching, so I'm really happy I got a kicker sub and a kicker amp. Um, I had a kicker 10-inch in my old truck, 
and I was pretty satisfied with it. I only paid like 150 or 100 bucks for the sub and the amp and the box uh, off Craigslist, and uh, for I can't remember what that sub is new, but it's one of their cheaper models. Um, and I was sad. I was I was like satisfied with it. it couldn't hit the low notes as good as I wanted. Uh, but it, it did what I needed it to do, so I figured if I pick up a dual voice coil comp RT kicker, I'm going to be satisfied with it. So, um, and it's a 10 inch because it is a pain trying to find boxes for this truck and subs that will fit. It's just a big pain. I should have bought an extended cab. Believe it or not, it seems like there's more room under the extended cab seat. Figure that out. Maybe this, I think the seat sits higher or something. But anyway, guys, it's cold out here, so I'm going inside that's where we're at right now once again follow me on instagram if you're not at 99 silverado nbs just like on youtube and uh, you guys will be the first to know things all right guys have a great day